This is an heirloom variety called Belgium Giant. It's got some really nice blooms going here on May 22nd. Plant looks extremely healthy. I'm really satisfied with it so far. If it'll just produce some tomatoes for me, I'm kind of anxious to see how big they are. Nice, healthy looking blooms there. Here's the first tomatoes set on the Belgium Giant tomato plant. And hopefully there will be a few more. The plant is doing great. Here we are on June 4th and this is a Belgium Giant heirloom type tomato. And the plant is just awesome as far as growth but it's really not setting on like it should so I'm a little worried about that. Had a lot of blooms falling off. So I don't know if there's too much nitrogen in the soil there or what the problem is, but should be doing better on setting fruit than it is, but we'll see how it goes in the next few weeks. So June 11th, the Belgium Giant tomato plant is just growing like crazy. I'm going to have to start uh, pinching suckers on it. It didn't set on very to many tomatoes, but uh, the plant is just growing like crazy. It's going to be out of the top of the cage soon. The cage is over five feet tall, so it's really growing. It's June 20th, and this is our Belgium Giant tomato plant. It's an heirloom variety. I don't know if they named, named it Giant <laughs> for the size of the plant or the tomatoes. It's got some tomatoes on it, but... The plant is just going nuts. I should have, if I would have known it was going to be this uh, good of a grower, I would have pinched back some earlier, but too late to worry about it now. But I'm still going to have to do something. July 1st, and this is our giant Belgium tomato plant. As you can tell, I've uh, pruned all the tomato plants and cut most of what was coming out of the top. This one was already probably close to seven feet tall when I started pruning off all the suckers and it has some really nice tomatoes. Some real monsters. There's one in the back there. I'm not sure if you can see it well on video but it is huge. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these taste. Okay, here's the big one on the Belgium Giant. As you can see, it's pretty good size compared to my hand. I'm guessing it'll be a pound and a half to two pounds. And they can produce fruits up to three pounds. So, As you can see, there's more to come. I'm looking forward to seeing what they taste like. 